Planet Dolan. People are all different, and that means that some people can do some really weird stuff with their body that most others can't. Some of these things you can try for yourself right now. Many of them you probably shouldn't, however. But at any rate, here are 15 things that most of you probably can't do. My name is Nixium, and today, I'll be your narrator. Number 15. Tickling yourself. Most people cannot tickle themselves, and if you can't, that's actually a good thing. The ability to tickle yourself means that you are able to disassociate your own actions from your brain's expectations. That, my friends, is a sign of schizophrenia. So this isn't medical advice or anything, but if you are able to tickle yourself, maybe you should talk to somebody about it. Number 14. Dying by holding your breath. I don't recommend you try this one. Your body has a sort of fail-safe against holding your breath. Have you ever noticed how the longer you hold your breath, the harder it is not to just gasp for air? That's because you're hardwired to breathe after a certain point, no matter what. Of course, if you hold your breath while underwater or somewhere else where you can't get oxygen, that's a different story. And anyway, again, please don't try this. Just in case, because, yeah. Number 13, finger rotation. Now here is something you can try without trying to kill yourself. Take the index finger of both of your hands and draw a clockwise circle with them. Now go faster, and then faster, and faster, and now one of your hands is now moving counterclockwise, and you probably didn't even notice. Your brain sort of kicks into autopilot at a certain point to cause this. Incidentally, if you try to move your arms in circles in opposite directions, you will have a similar difficulty. Number 12. Nose Wiggling The nose wiggle, made popular in the 1960s by the television show Bewitched, is a pretty tough thing to do, actually. You can learn to do it with some practice, but it doesn't come naturally for most people. However, when Nicole Kidman took the leading role for the Bewitched remake movie, she reportedly needed no special training or practice at all. Number 11. Sneezing with your eyes open. <laughs> We're not exactly sure why it's impossible to sneeze while keeping your eyes open, but it totally is. Biologists suggest it might be a physical reaction to help keep your eyes protected from all the crap coming out of your nose. The sneeze activates the same set of nerves in your nose and in your eyes. There are, however, a few people who can keep their eyes open while sneezing, and no, your eyes will not pop out of your head when you do it. It's just an urban legend. Don't believe that hullabaloo. Number 10. Hear the perfect pitch. Perfect pitch is a gift shared by only one in 10,000 people. This is the ability to hear a note just by hearing it. Like if you heard a car horn and knew it was honking an F sharp. Many more people have something called relative pitch, which is the ability to identify a tone relative to other tones. Number 9. Lifting your ring finger alone. Put your hand down on the table in front of you. Now fold your middle finger under your hand like it's the only finger you're curling into a fist. You should now be able to lift your index finger and your pinky finger, but not your ring finger. This is because the two fingers on the end have separate tendons controlling them, but most people have their middle and ring finger tendons connected, making it almost impossible to move one without the other. Mm-hmm. Number 8. Touching your chin, or nose, with your tongue. It's not all that complicated. Most people just don't have long enough tongues to reach the tip of their nose or their chin. It's about 10% of people who can do it overall, but among people who suffer from Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which I totally just pronounced correctly, a genetic condition related to stretchy skin and flexible joints, the percentage goes up to about 50%. Number 7. Splits If most of us attempted to do a total 180-degree leg split right now, 
we would probably end up unable to walk normally for quite a while. However, it's actually possible for most people to do with training and practice. But just like it's a bad idea to try lifting a car without any weight training, you don't just go into splits cold without working out your hip joints. So, be careful. Number six, wiggling your ears. Ear wiggling is a weird thing that seems linked to genetics, but then also doesn't. We don't exactly know why some people can move their ears and some can't, but it's definitely a diminishing trait. Recent studies have shown that only about 15% of people can do this. Number five, breathing and swallowing. The processes in our body that process breathing and swallowing are very, very closely related. They're related in a neural sense, as in the same portion of the brain and nervous system sort of oversees both of them. But also, many of the muscles in your throat pull double duty working on both of these processes. And they can't do them both at once, so you're stuck choosing between breathing and swallowing at any given time. But hey, don't try to prove this one wrong, alright? Because bad things tend to happen when you try to swallow when you should be breathing. Okay. Number four, raising one eyebrow. This isn't quite as rare as some of the items on the list. About one in four people can raise an eyebrow without moving the other at all. Now this is not a genetic thing. People can train their muscles to coordinate well enough to raise one eyebrow instead of both, if it's important enough to them that you would be willing to sit around practicing it for months on end. Number three, putting a fist into your mouth. Not many people can fit an entire fist into their mouth once they reach adulthood, but there are exceptions like actress Myla Kunis. But this is actually tried out a lot more often by babies. Usually while teething, babies will stick their whole hands into their mouths for no apparent reason. Which kind of makes it weird given how many people seem to put sexual connotations on this, which you totally just did. Number two, licking your elbow. There are two things at work here. One, your tongue is not long enough to reach your elbow. And two, your shoulder and arm are not flexible to bring your arm close enough to your mouth. You have probably heard about this one before, but there are some people who actually can pull this off. Many of them are the same ones who can lick the tips of their noses. In fact, Adrian Lewis has a tongue so long that she can lick her nose, chin, elbow, and get this, her eyeball. And number one, auto fellatio. That's right, guys. It's not just a dream. It's real, although for only about one in every thousand people. And it's not really that safe. It requires a great deal of flexibility and a sufficiently long penis. Even then, there are considerable risks to your ribs. But it is possible for a select few people, and it has been since ancient times. In fact, ancient Egyptian texts talk about how the sun god Ra created two other gods, Shu and Tefnut, via autophilatio. And that's just one of several other references to it. Isn't learning fun? So, aside from the death-defying ones, because you really shouldn't be doing those, how many of these things can you do? Tell us about them in the comments below and we will pin our favorite to the top. This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support, guys. Thanks for watching, guys.